Hello my friends, I am Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we are gonna go antique shopping. Now it's been quite a while since I've shared one of my shopping trips with you, but it has not been quite a while since I've gone antiquing. So today is gonna be a compilation of many different trips across the state and I found some goodies, and so stay tuned. At the end, I'm gonna show you how I style them in my home. Let's antique. As I shop, I'm gonna kind of try and pick out the things that I was highlighting that I love to show you, but some things I really just appreciate, even though I wouldn't bring them into my own home. And this booth had a ton of things like that, including these really fun wallpaper samples from the 1930s. How cool is that? It's like a living piece of history that you could bring into your home, whether you just keep the books as display intact as they are, or some people might be opposed to this, but you could also remove some of the pages and frame them as art, which would be a really cool collection and compilation of different papers. It's kind of like living art right there on your wall. I always love finding super cute little dishes that you can hold jewelry or just knickknacks in. And I did end up finding and loving this ironstone soap dish, which I did end up bringing home. Take a look real quick at that little bowl that I just caught a glimpse of because I want to show you in my own home how I did style those things. The soap dish is very simple, and you can see in the back right corner, I have a cute bowl sitting on the countertop. Now, I also always love looking for vintage paintings. This one had gorgeous depth and detail to it, and I also love looking for furniture pieces. This was a very unique shape. It had drawers on both sides, and it was a little wobbly, so as we tested that out, I decided to pass on it, but I really loved the shape, and then the square table right there amongst the crocs also caught my eye, which would be a beautiful project piece to refinish and restore back to its life. One thing I like keeping an eye on is what the trends are doing in the retail space. And right now, brass is having a moment. Brass figurines, brass swans, brass horses, brass birds. These are all things that are kind of coming back into style. So when I see vintage authentic pieces, I would gravitate towards purchasing those as a bit more of an original vibe for something that's currently trending. I did love this beautiful painting because it was so well done and this mortar and pestle caught my eye because I really just love mortar and pestles. I didn't end up buying any of them, but I do enjoy just seeing things, especially unique things like this really amazing wicker toddler bed. The detail on this bed was insane. So much work would be put into creating something like this. If you've been following with me for any amount of time, you know stoneware, crocs, pottery, it all has a special place in my heart. So I'm always on the lookout for things like that. And this booth has always been one of my favorites, even though I can't afford anything in it. Sometimes you have those booths that you just love to browse, but nothing ever comes home with you. I did find some really cool pieces in this booth, including an authentic schoolhouse light, which there are many reproductions of now, but it's always fun to see an original. I also have a very large collection of wood bowls, so these always catch my eye. And I loved these baskets. They're beautifully weaved, super heavy duty. And you know what? These are just fun finds. I kind of regret not getting one of these mini side tables. They were so perfect for just right next to a couch or as a nightstand. And I also regret not getting this gigantic, beautiful pitcher that matches my bowl in the kitchen. Now, I'm not really much for using china, but I loved the pattern on this cute china set. It was very springy and fun and simple, and this sign cracked my mom and I up. I'm thinking it was most likely for rides or something like that, but it kind of made it sound like they were selling children for 10 cents. This is beautiful. That's all I have to say. Now, one thing that I found repeatedly in multiple stores 
was this. I passed up on every single one of these beautiful pieces of stoneware in various forms of a similar pattern that matched my bowl. I don't know why I passed them all up. I love them. Maybe I'll go back someday. Finding large architectural pieces like these corbels is always fun just to see the architecture of homes and the fact that they're still in one piece is pretty incredible. We also found a lot of copper on several of our trips. I don't use copper in my home very much. I'm more of a brass lover, but I really did enjoy seeing some of these pieces, including this really beautiful spice rack, which I will also regret not getting. It's very adorable. And I loved this as well. They're just really fun pieces that would be cute in a kitchen. Once again, there's more of that pottery. Now this is really a telltale sign that you're in an antique store now. Dance Dance Revolution, Star Wars, Death Star, and a beautiful piece of pottery, all mixed in one. I really love this beautiful stamp. I thought it would be really cool to make your own art or your own pattern on the wall, like a wallpaper. And I did fall in love with this swan brass on top, wood on the bottom. It was in perfect condition. This mirror also ended up coming home with me and I'll show you how I style that in just a minute. I thought that this rolling pin was absolutely stunning. The handles were missing but you could still just use it as a display piece. Now I came home with some of my finds and I started to take down my winter decor hoping that spring might be around the corner. It hasn't shown up yet, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna bring it into my home. And here you can see how I styled a few of the pieces that I ended up finding and stay tuned for much more spring decorating to come. Now, here are a couple more goodies that I found that I'm not keeping, they're gifts. My beautiful mother's birthday is on the horizon and look it, don't worry, I'll give it to her before I show it to you. She collects these little English stoneware jars. I found this one. They're really hard to find in Michigan. You can probably find them on Etsy um, or eBay, but I like to find them in person. I just think it's so much more fun to find a treasure that you know that you collect or that someone else collects and be able to have that memory of like the discovery. So got this cute little stoneware jar. It's actually stamped with London on it. Isn't that fun? I think she's gonna like it. Then I also got her this. So she also collects transferware in brown and black. And this has such pretty, pretty detailing on it. It has obviously the transferware pattern, but it's just got like all these really fun, beautiful ridges and patterns on the ironstone itself and hopefully she'll like this one too. Now these kind of things I actually also collect myself. I haven't really gotten into this specific type of stoneware, but let me show you what I do with them when I find them. See how pretty? I love the way they look grouped together, especially, especially, double especially, when they're all different colors. <laughs> I thought the stamp said weirdo. It says a Vero, but the A and the V looked like a W. <laughs> okay, so. See, my mom got me this one. It's like we just trade stoneware that we find for each other because we both love to collect it. She got me this one. I think I found this one somewhere. I, I think I found the rest of them, but the four different sizes and shapes grouped together all in different colors make it really fun, interesting collection mix all in one spot. I really love antiquing, but what I love even more, like 100% more is flea marketing. I cannot wait for flea market season to join us here in Michigan. Just a few more months. I'm starting to transition my house to more spring decor, even though we have snow on the ground. You gotta make it happen inside in Michigan, otherwise you just are gonna be depressed. So stay tuned. I've got some spring decorating videos for you on the horizon. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you next week.